Today we're at Huddersfield Golf Club and I'm going to be taking a look at the four key irons in the Taylorman P700 range. Now we've got the three new releases from this year, so the MB, the MC and the 770 and then we've also got last year's hugely popular 790. Now I'm just going to be taking a look across the range, seeing what the big differences are, who of these might suit the most and ultimately help you decide which one is the right for you. So I'm not going to talk too much about the tech differences here because I've already covered that in my first look video, but I will link that above if you want to check that information out. Obviously the key difference here is the MB and the MC are designed for kind of your ball strikers. They're really going to not give you that much in terms of kind of extra distance, but they're really all about that workability. Are you someone who wants to shape the ball more? Do you want to be able to control your trajectory more? If you're more about wanting control and extra kind of finesse in your game and not bothered about more distance, then this is definitely the end of the set that you're going to be wanting to look at. If, however, you're someone who's wanting a bit more distance, you're definitely going to be looking at the P770 or the P790. And again, between the two, you've got varying levels of both distance and forgiveness. So if you are looking for kind of a bit of help on your off-centre strikes, or you just want to gain a little bit more yardage, this was the end I would suggest you start looking at. Now I'm out on the fourth hole here at Huddersfield Golf Club. It's a par three and I've got 151 yards to the pin. So for me, typically, this is going to be a seven iron distance. Now, I've got the seven iron in all four models, but I think we're going to see quite a wide variety in performance here. Specifically in terms of distance, I would suspect the MB for me is probably going to perform more like my normal nine iron. And moving up the back, they're going to get longer. So maybe the P790 is actually going to then perform like a six iron. So let's just hit a few shots with each and see what the difference is in terms of kind of ball flight, distance, and land angle. So first off, I'm going to start with the MP and see if I can reach the green. <laughs> okay, so I actually struck that pretty nicely. I pulled it a little bit. I would say it was quite a nice high ball flight. Probably launched a bit higher than I thought it was going to considering I've got a 120 like stiff shaft in this, but it didn't get anywhere near the front edge. Probably about five, 10 yards short. So I'm definitely losing a bit of distance in these compared to my regular iron, but you would expect that there's a lot less kind of technology in here for that extra distance and there are much more traditional lofts but I definitely say they felt exceptionally nice off the face. Okay next up we've got the MC and I have to say visually this is my favourite out of the set so I'm kind of praying I stripe this next to the pin and can justify getting myself a set. <laughs> I actually struck that very similar to the first one so it's kind of really good for comparison actually and it's flown from here it looks about five yards further we'll have a better gist of that when we get up to the green but in terms of strike it felt very similar very similar kind of launch properties but we definitely saw that little extra bit of yardage which is definitely something I'd need right next up the p770 i think in all realism this is the one that's going to suit me best and it was definitely the one that was very popular amongst readers especially after my first look video okay that undeniably was my best shot out of the three a lot straighter as well as a better strike and it was just easier to hit i feel with the mc and the mb i was really trying to feel like i had to put a perfect swing on it to get have any chance of getting up to that pin Obviously with this I've got that extra technology so I didn't really feel like I had to swing it so perfectly to still get a good shot. Now that's flown up all the way to the pin, it's easily pin high or just past and I didn't even feel like I had to go up that hard which I did with the other clubs. In terms of ball flight I definitely noticed a little extra height here which is especially helpful on holes like this where the green's high up and you're going to want to get it stopping quicker. Now finally we've got the P790, obviously this isn't a new release for this year but I think it's still important to compare it to the rest of the range so you know which one is right for you. Now personally for me sometimes I find that this is a bit chunky than the rest of the clubs and for me I do like something that's smaller on the eye, that's just because I really have a bit of a left miss so sometimes a thicker club or a bit of offset doesn't quite suit my eye but I think for a lot of golfers who have the opposite tendency to me and that is to slice it a little bit or to hit a fade this is actually much more comforting at setup and it's something that people really like and we've seen this has been super popular so I think a lot of people are going to be deciding between this and the P770 so it's really important to have a look and see what the key differences are here. I 
have to say I didn't strike that my best. In fact, I hit it a little bit thin and it nearly went in the hole. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna hit another one because I don't think it was very comparable to the rest. But it is good to know like how bad I struck that and how good the result was. Right, I struck that one a lot better. It's flown up nearly to the back of the green actually and definitely flown a good 5-10 further than the P770, which is actually really interesting. I wasn't sure if it was going to or not. I would also say it did fly a little bit higher. So across the range, we've really seen that increase in distance and also increase in height. So I'm up at the green now and I've actually just paced from the front to the back and there's 24 yard difference between these four balls. So probably not quite as much as I would have anticipated if you'd asked me at the start. Now we can see the flags up there and my first ball with the MB is down here. So it's not flown anywhere near up to the flag to be honest we're about 10 yards short and I was quite surprised actually by how far the MC is gone so here we can see that it's actually nearly up at pin high I'd say there's only really three yards short so 150 it's nearly got there maybe that does mean I can justify getting some which is always a good thing now if you'd asked me at the start I would have said the biggest difference would have been between the MC and the P770 but in all reality there's actually only about four paces between the two you can see the MC is finished here so nearly pin high and the P770 is just up here so although it's a lot nearer the pin it was a bit of a better shot in terms of kind of direction it's not actually that much longer on distance now this is the shot I hit with the P790 and I thinned and I genuinely did think from the angle of the tee that this was going to go in the hole, but it did just miss. So anyway, this is the second shot I hit, which is obviously a lot better, and you can see how much past the pin it's travelled. And this is the one with the P770, so you can see there is quite a big difference here. And I would say between the four, the biggest difference was between this, these two shots, and then between the MC and the PMB, which is kind of right down the bottom of the hill. So we've hit a few shots there looking at distance, dispersion and even kind of trajectory but a big noticeable factor of these is the fact that there's such a variance in sole width. Obviously the P790 is almost twice the MB so there's going to be a difference in kind of turf interaction there. So I just want to hit a few from the fairway and kind of look at the differences across the range. So again I started with the MB and that just felt great, I don't think there's any other way to describe it. It just looks so good doesn't it? I caught that slightly thin but it really did feel good. You can notice I'm kind of taking a really nice shallow divot, nothing too heavy. Sometimes I do feel like I get a bit diggy if the sole gets too wide. So that is something to note in yourself, is the kind of certain width of club or certain aesthetic over the ball that actually gets you to strike it better it's not always necessarily about having the club with the most tech it's having the one that matches kind of your tendencies so i've hit a couple of shots there and i think it really is interesting how i was really shallow with both of them but also i didn't strike them quite as well as i did off the tee and i would say i struck the mb and the mc actually a lot better Right, last up, P790. If I was predicting, I would say I'm going to hit this slightly heavy, just because it looks a bit big to the eye. So I guess that is a perfect example of why you shouldn't guess and pick your clubs based on that, because I've actually struck that the best out of all four, and visually for me it would have been the one that I wouldn't have picked. That's why you should always hit a second shot because I definitely did catch that one heavy. So I've hit a few shots with each of the clubs there and it really is quite interesting to note the differences. In this instance I was slightly downhill and I think that did help me with the MB and the MC. I just had a bit more confidence knowing that the ball was kind of always going to get there. You do have a bit of room to land it short and let it kind of release out to the green. And the result of that was I actually struck them both really nicely and very consistently well. The divot kind of pattern was very similar each time, the strike felt really good and I was getting a really consistent ball fly. Now when we move into the P770 and the P790, we saw a bit more inconsistency here, probably down to 
kind of the larger sole size and the fact the aesthetic is just slightly bigger on the eye. But then in fairness to the clubs, you can't really see that in the result. They've all ended up kind of quite similar in terms of dispersion. So you are really seeing that extra forgiveness. Okay, so final thoughts. Obviously across this range, in terms of aesthetics, you've got a really high quality of product here. And I think TaylorMade have done a fantastic job with this. Whatever club you got fit into here, you'll be really pleased with how the club looks. Obviously the MB and the MC have that little extra edge. Personally, I think the MC is the best, but really these are all great looking irons. I think where we first start to see a difference is in terms of feel. There's definitely a jump between the MB and the MC and the P770 and the P790. Obviously there's difference in the forging process here and I would say you can tell, it's not massive. I would say the 70 and the 90 feel slightly duller. It's not a bad feeling by any means, it's just that the MB and the MC feel so nice, you can notice a bit of difference. Now generally everyone just seems to want to know how far everything goes and there's definitely about a 25 yard difference between the MB and the P790. It's obviously a big jump, especially if you think about that across the full range of your irons. Obviously in a 5 iron, especially that would be massive. Then working through kind of the different sets, I would say there's still probably about a 10 yard difference between the MB and the MC. Slightly less between the MC and the P770, but then definitely another 10 yard gap at the back of the set there from the 70s to the 90s. So really here it's all just about what you want from the club, if you want that extra yardage or not. And really trying them all out and seeing how far you hit them is the best way of you decide and which is the right one for this. In terms of dispersion and kind of consistency of shot, I was really surprised that I actually struck the MB and the MC the best of the lot and I struck them the most consistently. This is definitely not what I thought was going to happen at the start. I thought maybe I'd strike a couple nice and they would feel good but then I would get a lot more inconsistency of shot. And I think the shape of the club and the fact that it just suited my eye well just made me strike it a lot better. Having said that, like I still hit really good shots with the 770 and the 790 but I could definitely notice the difference in strike consistency which I just thought was really interesting. I would say overall though that I just don't hit these two clubs far enough. Possibly I could use the MC and my short irons, but definitely in the long irons.